when we're examining the patient and saying when we prescribe a medication, how do we evaluate symptoms? This is what we will look at. We will look at cognition. So you have your list of symptoms. We look at activity, which means I will say, is your motivation improved? And at the same time, has their hyperactivity reduced? Then I will look at reward sensitivity. It's the same, so you can link it to this because behavioral activation, I will say, are you able to engage in tasks? Do you feel motivated? How do you feel in the morning? Do you have that get up and go, for example? And that brings in parallel the improvement in mood, confidence subsequently. Behavioral inhibition, which means hyperactivity. Are they able to control their hyperarousal? Are they able to sleep at night? Are they able to calm their mind down, for example? And then finally, the ability to cope with stress. Because when they engage in activity, they have a promotion, etc. children growing up, etc. you often find that this part of the brain will be activated. It doesn't have to be trauma only. It could be current stresses. So the response to stresses is important as well.